Hey guys, in today's tutorial, we're gonna be looking at how to resize images in InDesign, and it's totally different than Photoshop or Illustrator, so if you're having some trouble, this is the tutorial for you. To start off, we need an image, so I'm gonna press Command or Control D to place an image into my design. Then I need to go find that image, so I'm gonna just grab a thumbnail I recently created, and we'll bring that in here. Now to place an image, you can click and it'll place it at the 100% scale, or you can click and drag and it's gonna place it in a frame that you create. Now every image in InDesign is inside of a frame. We click on him and there's a blue outline that's a frame. And you might've noticed that if you try to resize this, it actually crops your image. Now there's a little circle inside this frame. If we click on that, suddenly the outline turns to red. Now this frame is the exact same size as our image, but if we click on this and drag, notice how we can actually drag that image around underneath the frame. If we click and drag on this red outline, we can actually skew that image. I would not recommend resizing the image underneath the frame like this. What I would recommend is using the free transform tool, but I wanted to show you the difference between that image sitting there and the frame that's around it. So the free transform tool, shortcut key for that is E, it's over here in your toolbar. This will allow you to grab the entirety of this frame and transform everything that's inside of it. So if we scale this down, it's gonna skew our image, but transform that entire frame with everything inside of it. So what we could do is scale from the corner and hold shift like that to scale it down in proportion. If you don't hold shift, we get that skewing effect, but as soon as we hold shift, it's in proportion. The other thing you can do while you're holding shift is also hold option or alt, and that scales or resizes your image from the center out. Now you can also let go of shift, and now I can resize it and skew it. So depending on your image, more than likely, you wanna hold that shift key and keep it in proportion. Now what happens if we wanna place an image into a frame? So if we're gonna grab this rectangle frame tool and let's say I wanna place it down here and I do wanna crop it, but I wanna fit the image to that frame. There's a couple things we can do. An existing image on your document, you could literally press Command or Control C to copy. And once you have an image copied, you could right click on a frame and do what's called paste into. So it pastes that image into this frame. So now we have the same setup down here, but what's happening is this frame is actually wider than the image. So we have some options here. We can right click and go to fitting and we can fill that frame proportionally. That will scale the image and resize it to fit the frame, but keep it in proportion so it does not skew the image, which is exactly what we want. The other thing we can do is we can fit the content proportionally. So that's like a content focus versus a frame focus. So the content is the image. If we do this, it's gonna fit the image until it hits either the top or the sides. So in this case, it hits the top since the frame is wider. But if we wanted to fill a frame, we can just fill the frame proportionally like that. Now we can still click on this image and we can move it around because it's just gonna fill it to the center. So it kind of scales it from the center out until it fills the frame. So we can do that or we can resize this to get just a certain piece of our content inside the frame. So you can do anything like that really quickly for resizing images. But the main way that I wanted to show is basically that you can resize images, press E for the shortcut key for that free transform tool, grab a corner, or grab a side, anything like that to scale things up and down, move them into place and you'll be good to go. One last method here, if we press A, that's the direct selection tool, you can actually click on your image really quickly or you can click and drag and select different points and I could hold shift to select multiple points of this frame. And if you wanted to adjust the frame, you could totally just grab one of these points and bring it in like that and then readjust the image underneath this frame. So that's kind of how pictures, images, and resizing works here in InDesign.